All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you one of my all-time favorite mind-reading card tricks. Uh, this is one of my favorites because you can do this anywhere, and you can do this without messing up, I promise you. So here's how the trick works. You only need around six cards just like this, and all I'm going to have you do is remember at least one. So keep your eye on one of the cards, any card you want. You can remember it. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and assume uh, you've picked a card. And now what I'm going to do is put the cards behind my back, and I'm not looking at them, I promise you. I'm going to take one card out of the pile. So this is uh, probably the card you guys chose. We'll leave this somewhere in the middle of the deck. And I'm only going to have five cards right now because I've already put your card into that packet. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the deck around. Hopefully, you guys cannot see your card anymore. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how we're going to set up for the trick. What you want to do is get out all the face cards in the deck. So this way we have all the jacks, queens, and kings. You get those out of the deck. And then what I did is I took each of their soulmates and I split them up. So this way, in one packet, I have one black jack, one red king, one black king, one red queen, one black queen, and one red jack like this. So this way, every single, uh, these should look pretty much identical the only thing different is the actual suit but the colors are going to be the same so that's kind of what you need so go ahead and get this set up and then at this point here's what you're going to do from here so you're going to have to take one of these packets and put them in your back pocket so that's going to go pretend this is going to go inside of my back pocket and then from here what you want to do is you can go up to the spectators and these cards are going to be face down okay and all you have to do is give them a couple seconds to grab onto one card so you tell them okay I'm gonna flip these cards around and all I need you to do is look at one card and remember it so you quickly show them the cards you give them a second to remember at least one of them and then after a second or two you flip them back over you say okay hopefully you've got a card what I'm gonna try to do is stick this behind my back and grab out one card hopefully it being your card so when you do that you're sticking the deck behind your back and all you're doing is putting this in your other back pocket so remember we have the duplicate stack in the other pocket so when this goes behind your back you're putting it in your left back pocket and while it's still behind your back pretend this is now the duplicate packet while this is behind your back you're going to just peel off one card from the back peel off one card you come back with the other card in your hand to make it look like you grabbed one from the packet and from here you say look let's leave this in the middle of the deck this is going to be your card hopefully you put it in the deck so the spectators can't see it you have to make sure that when the deck comes back from behind your back the cards are still face down because you don't want that single card that you're saying is theirs you don't want that to be face up so then at this point you're going to take them and show them look I have five cards now and from here you can spread the deck and what I did in the performance was I kind of mixed up the order a little bit that way uh, if the cards came back up to the top and the spectators saw that let's say in this case uh, the duplicate packets they had the red uh, the red king on top so the king of hearts was on top and now they immediately see that it's the king of diamonds and it wasn't there before they're gonna notice something's up so make sure you kind of you can mix up the packet before you show the spectators this way um, the spectators aren't gonna be able to remember the suits of the cards as much so that's pretty much it okay you show them briefly the faces of the cards and like I said you don't want them to examine it too much because then they're going to notice that all of the suits have changed not necessarily uh, the color so this is a trick guys I hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching